All right, all right, everybody. I think it's about time I accepted that the spider sona trend is old and over. It's last year's news, and I need to move on to something that's fresh and completely different. So today, I'm making an iron sona. It's, it's different enough, right? Ah, who cares? Roll the opening banner. I'm gonna be honest, Iron Man is one of my least favorite superheroes to draw. I love him as a character, but I just always have a hard time with his face and keeping some of the details working. So, as I do a lot of the time when I realize there's something I don't like drawing, I'm gonna try and draw it. But I wanna do a customized Iron Man suit for myself. So, an Iron Sona. And a bunch of people on the Spider Sona redraw episode were suggesting that I try making an Iron Sona, so it seems like lots of other people either have made one or want to make one. So in this episode, I'm going to make a five-step process on how to go about designing your own Iron Sona as I make mine. I hope you learn something, or at least are entertained. Let's get into the first step of the process, which is pulling some inspiration. So for my inspiration, I wanted to pull a bunch of images of my favorite Iron Man suits, specifically from the movies. I like a bunch of the comic book suits, but all of my big favorites are from the movies. The first one is War Machine suit from the very end of Avengers Endgame. I think that one is just crazy cool looking. I love it, and I want to have some elements of that in my own Iron Sona. Another one that I really like is Rescue, Pepper Potts suit in Avengers Endgame. And then third, my favorite, which actually is an Iron Man, Tony Stark Iron Man suit, is the Spider-Man Homecoming Iron Man. I really like the color palette on that one. I think it's just a good, cool looking, slight variation on the usual Iron Man look. So I grabbed some images of all those suits and brought them into Sketchbook Pro to use as references. Step number two is to take some notes on yourself. Basically, what's essential to you and your personality that has to come through a bit in this Iron Man suit? Basically, what do you want it to do? Do you want it to be a brawler or a healer? Or wh what kind of suit do you want it to be? Personally, when I play games like Dungeons and Dragons and stuff like that, I often pick a cleric, a character that heals other characters or helps other characters out. And I wanted to go for something like that. So my Iron Sona wouldn't have very many weapons to it. It would have things like maybe some smoke and flash grenade launchers to cause distractions. And I would want it to be really fast so it could zip into a battle, grab some teammates and pull them out when they're in a dangerous situation. Also, if I can work it into the suit somehow, I want to have some kind of compartment that can be storing a spoon and some peanut butter with chocolate chips. Because you never know when you'll need a snack on the battlefield. I mean, I was stuffing my teeth now. One sec. Okay, okay. There we go. Anyway, lastly, I would want the character to just look really cool to me, obviously, because it's my suit. So I would want it proportionally to look what I consider to be really cool looking. So nice, big, broad shoulders big legs, probably big hands, that kind of thing. Which leads me into step three, which is designing the proportions. So the next three steps could kind of all be done in the same stage, but I kind of wanted to split them out a little bit. So this is deciding the proportions of the character, just going over basically the silhouette before I start laying out some designs of the actual suit. I just want to decide how do I want this to be a really tanky character or more narrow. And as I said, I kind of like the broad shoulders, but I don't think I want it to be too big. I tried a couple slight size variations, but in the end I came out with something like this and I just did a rough silhouette that I could start laying the extra design elements on top of. So the suit details are step four, which is probably the most important step, I guess, sort of, because you're actually designing the look of the character. And I had so much fun with this part. With the first one, I was leaning a little bit more into the, the war machine at the end of Endgame sort of look, where it's bigger, brawnier. I knew that I wanted this character to look a little bit less intimidating, but for this initial suit design, I just went full war machine sort of look. So I was okay with it looking a little bit like, like it was ready for a fight. And that, of course, isn't what I want in the final designs. So when I was wrapping up this War Machine one, I thought, okay, I really like this one, but it's a little bit too angular and aggressive looking. So I want to smooth it out a bit, make it a little bit more friendly looking. 
Because as I've said, I want my Iron Sona to be built kind of like it's for helping other people. Even though it is for use on a battlefield, it should look a little bit friendlier. So this next suit, it's much more rounded. And I like a lot of the parts of this suit. This is probably the design I'll use as my base, but I do like a lot of the stuff from that initial design. Also, I, the, I thought about having this rocket as the smoke launcher or something, but I'm thinking maybe I could put smoke grenade launchers on the forearms or something like that instead of having that aggressive looking cannon. And I really liked having those wings or at least some kind of extra jetpack to add for speed. I put some extra foot rocket things to make the character look like it could go faster and to help the character move faster. And I think I want to add those into the final design too. I tried one more and tried to think a little bit more outside the box. I didn't really have as much direction with this third design and I think it kind of shows. It looks okay, but definitely doesn't look how I want my Iron Sona to look. So the only thing I take from this design is those forearm launchers that I talked about. So when I was coming down to the end of this, I took a few examples from the different designs and put them together into what turned out to be my first rough layout for my Iron Sona. Now step five is colors and this step you might want to think about how different colors give off different emotions. That is something you could potentially think about when you're working on this. Admittedly, red is often associated with being an angry color, but it's also associated with passion and excitement. And really the reason I'm using red in mine is just because I really want to do the Canadian plaid sort of look. That's just a very me thing. My avatar for this channel is that and my spider Sona had that same kind of pattern on it. So I wanna have that built into the suit. So I'm going a little bit red and I really like the combination of red and some kind of really light gray and then some dark gray. So just having pretty desaturated and then some lights. I tried two different versions and I really liked both of these, but I think I'm gonna go with the second version just with a little bit of the gray stomach from the first version. So here's the rough design I'm going with. And now it's time to make an awesome poster of my Iron Sona. Now, as I always say, the first step to doing some kind of bigger image is to do a bunch of thumbnail sketches. I end up doing three thumbnail sketches for this, and I really liked this one that I came up with. Because it's just, uh, I, I liked that it sort of looked like the character had just rushed forward and was coming to a halt and was looking around about to go help someone out or something like that. And I'd originally thought of just having a big cloud of smoke around as if my Iron Sona had shot some smoke grenades from the launchers on its forearms, and then it was gonna kind of break through the smoke, go help out a friend. But then I decided, you know what, with an Iron Man suit, I feel like if I just do my usual generic rocks and trees sort of background, or just having smoke in the background and environment, it's, it's gonna look a little bit weird. So I added a couple token buildings in there, but still had some smoke kind of spilling up around them. And then I have some clouds behind him. The whole image ends up looking a little bit cluttered because of that, so I end up having to fade the clouds into the back a little bit. But overall, I think I'm pretty happy with it. Also, I'm drawing my background and my Iron Sona on different layers, which ends up coming into play later on because I end up having to scale up the Iron Sona a bit. It just ends up feeling a little bit too small in the frame. And once I was getting into the coloring stage, I was pretty happy with this one. My only concern is that the, the blue from his kind of all his different repulsors might fade a little bit too much into the background. But overall, I think the red is popping well. And I really like that I went with the version that has higher contrast between his forehead and his bottom mouth, like different shades of gray. I think that's a really cool element of this character and that little sort of triangle on the top represents that sort of spike thing in my hair that I always draw even though I don't really have it in real life. I never really spike my hair anymore because I always cut it shorter. But that just feels like a very me thing when I'm drawing a, an avatar of myself. I always give the character a little, little swoopy hair. Also, looking at this now, I don't really know if there's a place where he would store his peanut butter and chocolate chips, but guess he doesn't need that on the battlefield, so oh well. Anyway, coming down to the end of the drawing, so let's take a look at how my Iron Sona turned out. Hmm, I do like this, but I am curious what it would look like in the other color scheme. I won't make you watch me draw it again, let's just cut to the future where I've already recolored this thing a little bit. See what that looks like. Hmm. 
I think this color scheme works better in this background because the yellow helps it pop out from the blue sky. But I think I still like this color scheme more just in terms of general design. But let me know, which do you like better? Iron Sona color scheme one or color scheme two? And if you do make an Iron Sona yourself, please tag me in it. I'd love to check it out. I'm sure so many people have so many cool designs. I'd love to see what you work into your suit based off of yourself and your own personality. I love these kinds of personalized superhero art challenges. So maybe I'll try another one like a Bat Sona or something like that. Anyway. I'm Christian Pearson. This has been Popcraft Studios, home of the nerdiest art videos on YouTube. I keep forgetting to suggest people leave a like if you enjoyed yourself. You obviously don't have to, it just kind of helps boost the video through the algorithm and all that, whatever. But yeah, I'm currently releasing videos Saturdays and Mondays, so next one will come out Monday, and I'll hope to see you all there. Thanks for watching, everybody. Goodbye.